What's up guys, Roby Tech here, back in not a very sunny location, but beautiful, rainy uh, Washington. And I am here at Blue Horse Studios where I have basically worked with Ron to develop a Halo Infinite themed PC. And so I'm gonna join Ron, which we're at his studio here in uh, Vancouver, and uh, let's see if we can get a tour. Let's see if Ron's in here. Hey, hey, what's, what's up, dude? What's up, guys? It's How's so it going? good to see you. Come on, yeah, man. You. We want to see where the magic's being made. Oh yeah, absolutely. This way? Yeah, let's go. Let's go downstairs. peeked in here a little bit and there's some really rad stuff but i figured before we start just jumping into things why don't you talk a little bit about you've kind of got like a two setup studio here uh, at your place so what what's this area so this is kind of where i build everything it's like it's kind of where things happen from scratch where the ideas are formed uh, where i do my all my computer gener generated images like my mock-ups and this is where it starts to take shape, like it starts, uh, you know, roughing out pieces, start cutting things, 3D printing parts and assembling everything. And once all that is done, then I take it upstairs to my paint studio, do the finished paint work, and then the final system integration for the project. We uh, teamed up with Blizzard and NCXT to create these uh, projects as a giveaway uh, for the gaming community. This one here is Diablo, and this will be attached to the front here. So awesome, look yeah, at that. Yeah, yeah, so, and then so I'll be sculpted out through the front and then painted. In between like working on projects for other people, I like to do things, you know, for myself to keep my own creative energy going. And so this is something I've been working on the last couple months. This is, dude, such, such awesome work, right? I appreciate that, yeah. thank you. That's the mystery box from, um, from Call of Duty. Oh wow! Okay. Yeah, yeah. I see a lot of alien. A lot of alien aliens. Yeah, yeah. I'm just, you know, I always, I really love the sci-fi horror genre, I like medieval horror as well. Dude, this Half-Life build and this Alien build, like the Half-Life build was my second build that I that I ever did, like in PC modding. Even the second PC that I ever built. Um, that one actually got featured in CPU Magazine. The following year, I'm like, well, I gotta do something else to follow that up. So then I built my Alien project. If you don't know, this is uh, from Resident Evil, and this is a PC case. This is like, it flat out looks like a movie set piece, but this thing is bonkers. Um, and this is a PC case. Yeah, this is all scratch built. That's yeah, awesome. Yeah, it's a lot of fun to be able to be creative and do the things that you love, you know? It's like, I could just be down here all day and, you know, making cool stuff, but then I wouldn't be able to get to hang out with people like you, you know? <laughs> I owe you a hundred bucks later. That's fine. Thanks for getting that on camera. I came down here for a Halo build, and yeah. that's in a completely different area. Once we get everything all built and put together, then we take it upstairs. And well, there we go. Let's head up to the next right. spot. Sounds good. So much cool stuff. <laughs> Holy cow! This is it? This is it. Oh my gosh, dude. And then we have a couple things that we're gonna have you airbrush here in a few minutes. You know, put on the Spartan 117 uh, insignia as well. And yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be really cool. What does it take like like for me to do this 117? Because uh, I've never like I'm, I don't want to ruin this for Aaron, right? Like, so what are we what are we talking about here? Yeah, it's gonna be pretty simple. It's just gonna be a one color stencil, and we're gonna put the stencil on. We're gonna mask it off, spray it, and then peel off the stencil, and we're done. Cool, let's yeah. do it. All right, so we're gonna start uh, mixing up our paint and then uh, airbrushing that stencil on. Um, I have a few different airbrushes, but uh, the Iwata HPCS is the one I use daily. Yeah, the gun, the gun comes apart pretty simply. Wow, okay. Yeah, and so then uh, 
That way you can you know take all the parts out and clean it. Just screw that down. So okay. we can just go ahead and mix up our paint now and then we can start spraying here in a little bit. So you can see it's kind of thin already. And you don't need a ton, huh? You don't need a ton, no. For what we're spraying today, this is way more than enough. So now that we have this, we can go ahead and apply our stencil. What we need to do, we need to put some transfer paper on this first. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So we're just cutting off the excess. So it'll live right here. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, like Bob Ross style, right? Yeah, this we're playing, it. yeah, Bob Ross. And so now we just gotta remove the actual stencil. We'll just go ahead and mask off this, these other areas okay. so we don't get any overspray. And for this top panel, let's just go ahead and take it off so we don't get any overspray on that one. Okay. All right, so we are pretty much masked off and ready to paint. So okay. I'm gonna let you actually have the honors of painting on his Spartan number. I know, but like, do, do we have a place to practice? For yeah, yeah, we're getting a little crazy. Yeah, like, we're, it's just like, just start. <laughs> Is this the right technique? Yeah, we'll practice first. Okay, so. good. Yeah, please give me a little bit of room. Yeah, I'll just set this up and put some music on and get a hot cup of coffee, pot of coffee, pitcher of coffee, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Red Bull. Yeah. And then just uh, just go for it, you know, It's and then just paint like all day until the sun comes up, until it goes down. So let's go ahead and turn on the airbrush. Some paint inside here. This is a dual action airbrush. So okay. when, you, when you press down, it's just your air is just gonna come out. Okay. Right, and as you pull back the gun a little bit, mixes the air with the paint, and then the paint starts to come out as you pull back the trigger. So what we're gonna do, if like this is the numbers here, we're just gonna, gonna kinda just fog it in like this, kinda okay. just go in circles. We don't wanna saturate like that, okay. because what's gonna happen is we're gonna get bleed out yeah, yeah. through the edges of, of the graphics. So we just kinda just wanna just like, really lightly just kinda just go in circles. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and have you just go ahead and okay, try so it. So what then. I want to do is I just want to I want to like a little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So as you pull back the trigger a little bit more, you can see it, how it gives some more paint coming out. But we're gonna fog in these areas first, okay. and then uh, work our way into okay. the center. That's looking pretty good, though. Got this? You've done this before. No, right? I have never done this. <laughs> That's pretty good. That looks good. Yeah, huh? that looks really good. I think we can go ahead and remove that mask now. Okay. What do you think? I, th I don't know. You yeah. tell me. I'm afraid. I think that looks pretty good. Okay. So maybe, what do I do? Maybe some up in here. Yeah, you're just so much more confident. Hey, spray with confidence. Spray with confidence. Yeah. There we go. I think that's good. Okay. Dude, I painted. Did you see that, Josiah? I painted. Wow. Yeah. That looks great. That turned out good. Well, rad, so it's done. Yes. Okay. It's done. Okay, well this has been absolutely awesome. If you are watching this and you're wondering, well, what actually happened afterwards, this is, you're gonna be seeing this after we've actually done the whole live stream. So if you wanna check out that full build and all of those details, you can actually check out the live stream right here. Anyway, guys, we are gonna let Ron get back to his work here. Uh, we're gonna get out of the studio here and we're gonna start heading back to Seattle. Would love to know down in the comments below if you wanna see more things like this. In fact, we're thinking about doing some more collaborations with Ron, yeah. so we're gonna, you may have some stuff where it's just Ron basically talking through and showing some of those builds, but we always wanna know down in the comments below if that's stuff that you wanna see. And also, if you have some thoughts and you're wanting to get into this, uh, we'll get a parts list down below of some of the things to get started if you wanna get into your own PC modding. If, they, if people wanna follow you, if they wanna find you, yeah. how do they do that? I'm on Instagram at bluehorse.studios, Facebook Blue Horse Studios, Twitter is bluehorse.studios as well. So yeah, I'm uh, pretty much on all social programs and I'm always open to answering questions. So if you guys have any questions about this build, how it was, how it was created, you know, the, uh, the parts that you need, the types of materials you need to create this, uh, just give me a shout and I'll be more than happy to point you in the right direction. And then if somebody actually wants to do a build with you, that's always an option Oh, as absolutely. Well. Yeah. yeah, yeah, for sure. We're, yeah. Always, we're always up for hire. Yeah, so I'm, I'm always excited to take on new projects and come up with new designs and, and create cool stuff. Cool, yeah. So again, all of that info, we'll have that down in the description below. If you're interested in just reaching out to Ron uh, directly, uh, you can just check out for those links. Anyway, guys, you can also follow me on all the socials at Roby Tech everywhere. We hope you enjoyed this episode and we look forward to seeing you on the next one.